All right, folks, got the uh, i5-10600KF going here. And uh, let's check something here before I get into this. Our RAM is at 3600 megahertz. So this is the i5-10600KF right here in a B560M motherboard. And we're going to do some benchmarks here because uh, some of you probably will uh, want to see this. And some of you may not, but uh, now we have a RX 5500 XT in here, which, um, you know, is, you see here, going to be actually uh, PCIe 3.0 uh, and not 4.0 because this is a 10th gen CPU and that part doesn't work with, uh, with the 10th gen. So if this was the i5-11600K, which we'll have shortly. Uh, it would be PCIe 4.0. Now, whether it would be, you know, much better graphics card wise, performance wise is another story. Let's go ahead and uh, get Cinebench open. Let's open Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility as well. So I've done a few of these benchmarks, uh, whether it be on this channel or other channels. In case you care, i5 10600KF. Here's your multipliers, okay? A lot of people wonder, oh, why am I not getting this, you know, 4.8 gigahertz? Um, you know, if you haven't overclocked it, why are the default settings giving me some value? Uh, let's say, you know, 4.49, 4.6, whatever. Something between here and there. Well, that is because you're only seeing basically an average of these two. And uh, you're not seeing, you know, what this hit. So when these turbo boost, they're all, uh, they turbo boost altogether or they don't boost so this guy will get up to 4.5 this guy will get up to 4.8 4.8 and if you were to average these out it would not be 4.8 right it's going to be somewhere probably in the 4.6 range now power limits let's check those out this thing will uh pop up usually it does so okay these are locked so this is a uh you know i don't want to say it crappy motherboard but maybe it's crappy um i do not have the ability to change this unlike you know some other boards so that's a bummer we won't be able to do multiple benchmarks out of this where we push this a little bit more now before we hit the uh we're going to benchmark it here we're going to benchmark it in cinebench as well and i'll probably do cpu user benchmark so 16 gigs of ram now the uh, 4133 megahertz Patriot RAM, uh, I don't know if it actually will work in here. Uh, we ended up going with the 3600 just because I was I was troubleshooting this and whatever dumb reason, I forgot this one has the F in it and we just did not install the graphics card. And I was like, what's going on? So I switched the RAM out Then I realized, yeah, I need a graphics card. Um, you would think I would know better, right? Of all the people on this planet so like i said we can't change that let's go ahead and hit the benchmark in here to see how this does and i was hoping i would be able to change the power limits we do have a beefy cpu cooler on here but hey look at this um power limit throttling okay here is one reason why you may go want to go with a z590 or z490 motherboard for your i5 10600 AF or K. Uh, the mere fact that it hit that, that's going to limit some of the performance. And, uh, you know, nothing I can do about that because I can't, with this motherboard, I cannot adjust the power limits. Um, you know, and that's, that may be an ASRock thing. We, um, I don't think we've had that problem with the other motherboards. Okay, so it's done. What do we get to here? 59 degrees Celsius with uh, this i5-10600K. Of course, if you saw the other video, you know that it has a big old knock 240 millimeter uh, fan with a uh, single tower CPU cooler. So it does a pretty good job. And it's, it's already back to uh, a good temp there, right? Max core frequency. Yeah, we were limited because of the power limits. And you can see here, uh, did hit 116 according to that 113 all of that probably was limited 
due to uh, that. No thermal throttling. Of course, you would expect that. And no current throttling. So that's what we get for this. And like I said, there's nothing in here that I can actually adjust, uh, which is a, is a bummer. So I'm going to close that. And we're going to completely close it. I can get it to open. Okay. So we'll exit that. Let's go ahead and run uh, Cinebench. Now, you see this. This is... Um, I don't know if this is my previous one. This may be my previous one in a Z590 or Z490. Okay, so I don't think we're going to hit this, folks, because that had power limits boosted up. Let's go ahead and run it. And uh, here we go. So to uh, cut down on the massive air conditioner I have in this room that makes a lot of noise, we have added some filtering and a noise gate to the audio, which will probably make it sound like, uh, for whatever reason, there's an echo. So this thing is not moving a whole really too quick. Um, you know, I've been using a lot of i7s, i9s lately. And so there's not obviously as much multi care performance with this i5. So 11th gen, folks, uh, March 31st. Those of us that, uh, you know, are not the big channels. We will uh, be getting our shipped around that time, or March 30th, somewhere in there. I plan on getting at least a couple in. If there's uh, better reports about the performance of the other ones, we will buy, you know, we'll just keep buying 10th gen or 11th gen. Uh, otherwise, you may see the channel finally switch over a little to AMD. I'm not that impressed with the 11th gen performance. We may change it up a little bit. All right, so boom. There you go. That is a significant uh, multi-core drop-off. Um, but, you know, how does that affect gaming? That is another story. That's, you know, looking at that, that score, you know, honestly, not too bad. Not too awesome, not too terrible. But um, considering we couldn't adjust the power limits, we could not get it in the range of the other one. And until I get another B560 in here, we're not going to know. So I just obviously hit user benchmark. This may or may not run on here, but at least you'll get some, you'll get to see some scores. Um, I say may not run. We may not get a uh, full bench because, well, you never know. Assuming I have all the right drivers on here. Now, I do have this EVO 980 Pro in here that half the time uh, will not score out in here, so therefore it leaves me triple zeros across the top, but you'll be able to see the other scores. And there's, there will be a third part to this. Basically, I'm going to do some uh, gameplay in Fortran. Fortnite, I said Fortran. Um, so we'll see how the FPS average is there. And we'll try. Right now, we've got our RX 5500 XT in here. And like I said, there's... It didn't score out at the top, but you will get to see down below. So the processor actually performing above expectation. That is very surprising. Very surprising, folks. Um, I know this is much more capable than that. And this is actually, you know, not too bad a score. 
for multi-core on according to this you know some people don't like this site and at times i don't like it either but there's the bench for the graphics card this is the eight gig one okay we have a four gig at, back in the u.s and this is what you know killed it for whatever reason now i do have one terabyte that i could have put in here but it doesn't have all the stuff on it yet and there's your ram um i've seen higher scores with this ram but you know not bad so that's all we're going to do here for this this bench thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe thank you